reminded to sit up straight. Stretching is a great way to unwind and work some kinks out of the back and shoulders. But there are specific stretches that are extra beneficial. So to check that out, please welcome from Ultimate Resort uh, Results. It could be a resort. <laughs> mobile personal training, Corey Galusha and his student Priscilla. Thank you both for being here. No problem. Thank you very okay. much for having us. Corey, take it away. All right. Well, I got about five different exercises. There are actually a lot of different mobility exercises to go ahead and do. These next five exercises are actually, you can go ahead and it's fully accessible for all fitness levels. First one I'm gonna have her do, is she's actually gonna bring her chest, or bring her knee up to her chest, and she's gonna bring it up high and then roll it out to the outside. What you wanna do on the rollout is actually engage your glute to pull that leg out and then use the hand to pull it out a little bit farther. You're gonna do about 10 to 15 on each side, and that's gonna be great for the hip mobility, loosening up the glutes, which is actually gonna help anybody with the low back issue. Now, the next one we're actually gonna do is gonna be a squat reach. She's actually gonna go into a stretch first, a double leg stretch. Keep her heels flat on the ground as best she can. And she's gonna go ahead and rotate and she's gonna look up on each rotation. Now, keeping those heels flat, you wanna make sure if you can't keep those heels flat that you're going with the range of motion that your body can do. So if you can only go right here and reach, that's fine. Go with the range of motion. And over time, you should keep getting further and further and further down. As you can see, she reaches and she's looking up past her hand. You don't want to just look this way because that doesn't get the full rotation of that T-spine. We want to get a full rotation of that upper back. Excellent job. And a good rotation. Now we're going to go on to the next one. The next one is going to go and she's going to bring her knee up to your chest and then she's going to step out into a little bit of a lunge. And she's going to go feet or hands just inside those feet, just like there. And then you're going to rotate again one side to the other side. This is going to go rotate through that whole upper back gonna go rotate all the way through those hips. She's actually getting a stretch through the hip flexor, through the glute, through the low back and upper back as well. It's a phenomenal exercise. You wanna do about 10 to 15 each direction. And again, you're looking up all the way up at that hand when you rotate. Nice job, nice job. Next one we're gonna go into is actually where she's gonna get on all fours and she's gonna put her out, go ahead. <laughs> gonna get on all fours. She's actually gonna drop to her elbows. You got one elbow underneath you and then she's gonna rotate. Move one hand underneath her elbow and she's gonna rotate. Now, the reason why you wanna have that elbow underneath that shoulder is you're forcing more rotation. If she goes flat, the whole upper body stays flat. With that elbow right underneath that shoulder, she actually stays one side a little bit more kinked and you can rotate more. Again, what you're looking for is rotation of the spine. Mobility is crucial. This will actually really help out people with low back issues, hip issues, upper body issues. If you find yourself stiff, which in Seattle, we're in traffic a lot, we're at our office, we're at our desk, you get rounded back. You really want to open up your shoulders and open up your back. This is a great exercise to do that. Next one is we're going to look for hip mobility. She's going to stay on all fours. And now this one's called the dirty dog and you'll see why. She's going to bring that leg up very much like she's at a fire hydrant. <laughs> what this has done is really we're working on the hip mobility again. You're working on that glute and the hip flexor area. This is great for working on people that have those hip issues. You're sitting down all day. You're getting kind of stiff in those hips. You're going to get a, have, have low back issues. This will go ahead and help out loosen up that hip joint and really alleviate a lot of those low back issues. Thank you very much, Priscilla. Oh, awesome Corey, job. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you, Priscilla. Corey, come yeah. on over here. So what's interesting about the way you've shown this is that we might have pain in our back, but it could be due to a lack of mobility or flexibility, not in your back, but in other areas, Correct. right? Talk to me a little bit about the anatomy. So basically, the, the, a lot of people, with they have low back issues. It's actually stemming from a, a weak uh, glute or hamstring or over tight glute and hamstring. So it's really limiting on that low back. Um, when you're sitting down in traffic, you're sitting in car the whole day, mm -hmm. you're sitting in, in your office the whole day. At your desk. Your, thing, uh, your whole yes. body starts tightening up. Yes, it's, I feel like loose. I'm going into my little clamshell by exactly. the end of the day and need exactly. to open up again. Pectoral muscles will tighten up, hip flexors will tighten up. And when your hip flexors and everything tighten up, that's going to pull on that low back and all that glutes. So doing those exercises are absolutely going to really improve mobility. And mobility, you really want to go ahead and focus on that first when you start off on a program and then move into stability. And then move into other things. So are those basically safe for anybody who's starting out? Those are those are safe. Those are accessible for anybody. If you can't quite do an exercise yet, that's fine. Work with the the other exercises, and over time you should be able to get into that like that lunge. Right. Not everybody can do that one right now, <laughs> but doing the other four will absolutely help get into that more advanced move. That's and as great. you as you progress through the program, you should go ahead and incorporate more and more mobility exercises. That's there are good hundreds to know, of them. Because we you know we often think okay something's wrong with my back I need to go to the doctor and it might just be that you need to you know mobility. get your body open. Yep. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.